So we're talking about parables, uh, the stories that Jesus tells people in the New Testament, some of the most quoted stuff in the New Testament. Uh, everybody loves the parables. They show up all the time. And I'd really just like to take a minute and let Jesus ruin that for people. Uh, in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 13, he writes, Then the disciples came and said to Jesus, Why do you speak to them in parables? And Jesus answered them, To you it has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of heaven. But to them, it has not been given. For to the one who has, more will be given, and he will have an abundance. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. This is why I speak to them in parables, because seeing they do not see, and hearing they do not hear, nor do they understand. Jesus gives the parables to make it harder to understand the Bible. Jesus gives the parables to confound those who will not believe. And it sort of leaves us with this story that now has a bitter aftertaste because after all, it's a nice sounding story and I'm pretty sure I understand it, but like, Jesus, why don't you just say what you mean? Except that he did. Nobody believed him. Remember how he said that he would go into Jerusalem and die for the sins of the world and on the third day rise again? And nobody liked that. Nobody really believed that. The parables, though, everybody picked up and ran with. The parables are quoted all over the place. You can actually hear both sides of an argument quote the same parable at each other to prove to each other that they're both wrong and miss the point completely. Because here's this little bit that explains the whole thing. To you, it has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of heaven. The secrets of the kingdom of heaven well, the kingdom of heaven doesn't come from the law. It comes from the gospel. That's the secret. You are not going to get to the kingdom of heaven by your works, by the things that you do, by being a moral and upright person, by following the examples set for you in the parables for you to do these things. That's law, the things that you are to do. You will not enter the kingdom of heaven by your works. In fact, by works of the law, no one shall be saved. I think that's in the back somewhere. But the parables contain the secrets to the kingdom of heaven, which means that they are not about you. They're about Jesus for you. If you want to start to understand the parables, you have to look for Jesus. The kingdom of heaven is unlocked by the gospel. Christ, who is crucified for your sins and my sins and the sins of all of the world. And here, the parables take on a wonderful new meaning and gift to the church that is no longer simply a statement of fact that the Son of Man was crucified and on the third day raised. But they give us something to wrestle with, something to come back to over and over again, that over and over again, we can find the secret of the kingdom of heaven being revealed to us, that our sins are forgiven as Jesus bears um, the sins of the world on the cross for you, for me, for all. We come back to the parables over and over again because they point us to the gospel. Did we do good? Is that, is that okay? If, if you liked that, hit the button that says that you like that. Maybe even subscribe to see more of these even give help us fund this mission of making known the gifts of christ jesus to youth and young adults if you like this video check out our website higherthings.org and check out more content from higher things